Hello and welcome to SISD TV News, where we deliver the latest news about the Socorro Independent School District. In our top story, Team SISD honored and celebrated this year's Teachers of the Year with special deliveries and the first ever Teacher of the Year virtual announcement event. Fifth grade teacher Pedro Gurrola from Vista del Sol Elementary School was named the 2020 SISD Elementary Teacher of the Year and Crystal Avila, a biology teacher from Socorro High School, was named the 2020 SIZ Secondary Teacher of the Year. We had to make some huge adjustments. Normally we have this at the convention center. So we had our first ever, first ever virtual Teacher of the Year celebration. And we said we gotta go out and make sure that our, our two winners, that they feel that, that they're supported, that they're celebrated, not just because of what the pandemic has, has done, where we can't celebrate all together. So we wanna make, just like we, these two, we wanna make all teachers feel special. I am beyond overwhelmed here. I just, I never imagined this kind of, uh, of support from my school family to my family to everything that they that they planned out for me that just kind of shows me how they feel about me and uh, that's I am uh, grateful that I get to experience these people in this way and um, that they think this much of me to, to kind of go through these lengths to to do this for me. Well, it's something that I didn't know was gonna happen you know it, it was just something that's really just been an honor and something that um i just am going to carry with me proudly i really am and uh, today it was more of a celebration you know of so many teachers that are working hard you know during this pandemic we've tried to really revamp the way that we're teaching and this is just showing how hard teachers work and i'm just proud i'm proud to be a teacher right now America's high school administrators welcomed the new girls' head basketball coach, Tisha King, during a virtual press conference. The formal trailblazer played basketball during her high school career, was named All-District and District MVP. King also played college basketball at UT Permian Basin in Odessa, and then played one-year professional basketball overseas in Bosnia. The youth, they're our future, and it's important to me that we equip them with the best tools possible to be successful, because at the end of the day, they're going to be uh, our future presidents, everything that we look forward in, in the leading our country, that, that's going to be them. So uh, I love doing that in the classroom, and I love doing that on the court as well. And I'm very excited to be back in Blazer Nation as a coach and teacher this time around. It's going to be different, it's going to be new, but I'm so excited. I've always carried my Blazer pride with me throughout my journey, and I can't wait to get back on the court to continue the tradition of being a trailblazer with all the girls and growing the program. Team SISD's Career and Technical Education Department provided their time and resources towards supplying hundreds of the district's essential employees with face shields during the COVID-19 district shutdown. Six high school CTE teachers volunteered to make the shields at home while the city's stay-at-home order was in place and the schools were closed. We purchased these uh, 3D printers for our engineering programs, for our animation programs, as well as our biomedical sciences programs. So we're able to print these things out as, as true devices that uh, individuals can use. So maybe down the road within our programs, get to see the innovation that came about because of the coronavirus and how the simple innovations can help in, uh, in saving lives. Oh, we, we are so grateful. First of all, for them to take the time to make them, they had already made up to 900 face shields. So they're not only pro providing them for child nutrition, they're providing to our technology uh, services um, when they're handing out computers. Um, they're providing them to any of the other essential activities that are happening in the district. And so what an impact they are making on keeping our staff safe, keeping our public safe. And we are so grateful because they delivered a box of them here to my office and I was just absolutely thrilled. So we handed them out to our campuses right away and um, they are utilizing them.
Sokor Ayaziz's assistant director of fine arts, Candice Prince, was named the 2020 Life Changer of the Year by the National Life Group. The award aims to honor those who are making a significant difference in the lives of students by exemplifying excellence, positive influence, and leadership. It was just shocking. It was really incredible. I think that regardless of whatever profession you're in, I think that we should just be really aware of, you know, our, our ethics and how we treat other people. And um, I just, I mean, I hope that that's conveyed to my students. You know, I, I, I am a human being and I struggle as well, but I, but I, you know, I try to learn from my mistakes. And so um, I just hope that, you know, people decide to do things that better their community because I think giving back is more rewarding than just receiving because, I mean, that keeps going. And so I, I hope that they, you know, continue those um, kind of deeds as they go out through life. Two seniors in SISD have earned the prestigious Gates Scholarship, which provides funding for the full cost of their post-secondary education. Gustavo Ramirez from America's High School and Eric Corona Jr. from Mission Early College High School are among the 300 students nationwide who earned the highly selective scholarship. Well, that's a great feeling because the Gates Millennium um, pays for everything for your education, so it's a great opportunity for our students. We know with this money that they'll be able to complete their education, which is what our goal in SISD is, of course. I mean, it's just really um, exciting. I, I think um, I feel very lucky, um, but I also know that I've really worked hard this year and the uh, four years I've been in high school and I'm just really excited that I get to have uh, such a great opportunity. I think it's a wonderful opportunity and I'm extremely grateful that I was able to uh, receive that scholarship as a product of all my hard work throughout these four years. And, I'm um, just hoping that it allows me to sort of remunerate my family for all their sacrifices that they've done in order to get me to where I am today. And I hope that it allows me to also give back to my community in the future the community of El Paso. So yeah, I'm extremely grateful and it's been uh, it's a wonderful opportunity. Socorro ISD held a four-team double elimination esports tournament. The event streamed on the SISD Twitch channel and included teams from Socorro, Eastlake, and Montwood High Schools. To bring in esports and slowly build a team, and then to finally get to a part where we're like showcasing it, and then we're closed. But then we weren't, and I think that was the best thing. We came back, we were like, okay, we're not gonna let this die this year because it's new. We had to make sure that we showcased it again, and these guys did a great job. When I was in high school and I was a gamer, it was still very fringe and like very weird, and especially like being a female who played video games and stuff, there was a lot of stigma to it. And so I'm just so proud that Socorro School District has seen this as an opportunity to give to even more of our students who don't necessarily, who haven't necessarily had any kind of outlet like this before. All six of SIZ's comprehensive high schools held virtual athletic signings to celebrate student athletes committing to play and attend colleges and universities across the country. Being a student athlete is so very difficult. People do not realize all the hard work it takes to excel in your sport, but also to be a strong student. And when you combine those, that discipline, that grit, it speaks to your work ethic and so really it's just such an honor to have so many students signing today because that determination has paid off today with the award of playing at the next level. I am proud of each one of you. Take the time to reflect on all the things that you have led you to this moment and be grateful for the support that you have received from your families, coaches, and loved ones. Please remember that we will all be watching the next chapter of your careers and proudly letting everyone know that you are a graduate from Montwood High School. It is time to let the world know that you are here. Go make your community proud. This sport has made me grow not only as an individual, but as a player. It has taught me that nothing comes easy in life. Um, you have to always keep working hard and always give it your all, no matter the circumstances. I want to thank uh, my parents that are on the side 
They supported me in everything and where I have become. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. Um, they have pushed me and taught me everything I know. And um, I want to thank my coaches as well. And I want to thank Ms. Cancellari for, you know, setting this up. It really means a lot to me. First off, I would like to thank God because I wouldn't be able to spend it without him. I want to thank my, my coaches for making me the player I am. I want to thank my family for always pushing me, and when I was down, and yeah, I just I just want to let you guys know that I'm not gonna give up, and I'm gonna do everything for whoever supports me. And I thank you for that. I would like to thank God first, and I thank my faculty, staff, teachers, the athletic training program for all the times that I've gotten banged up a little bit. <laughs> I'd like to thank my mom and dad for believing in me this whole time and believing that I get a scholarship. That's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the latest in the Socorro Independent School District. Make sure to follow us on Twitter with the Twitter handle at Socorro ISD. Follow our superintendent, Dr. Jose Espinosa, with the Twitter handle at J Espinosa underscore SISD. Also be sure to friend us on Facebook and check out our website. Thank you again and see you next time.